Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner, and in this video, I'm going to go over the cost hash rates and ROI over GPUs versus ASICs versus FPGAs. So let's check this out. Okay, so first I do want to mention that this is assuming that the price and difficulty all stays the same. But of course, down the road, things will change and all my figures will change as well. So you should take everything with a grain of salt. Now, of course, today's date and price. Today is January 23rd, 2019. And the price of Bitcoin is around $3,602.72. And these are the price of all the other cryptocurrency. And where I live in the USA, my electricity cost is 10 cents per kilowatt hours. Now, starting off with the GPUs. For NVIDIA, I did start off with the 1070. They're typically the most popular. And I did find them around $250 on eBay and buying six of them will cost around $1,500. And of course, buying like the motherboard, power supply risers, and the mining frame, that may cost around $300. So adding everything together may cost around $1,800. Now for the revenue, I did use what to mine which is this website right here, whattomine.com. And this is actually a pretty good website to see what your GPUs are making. And the most profitable coin to mine on what to mine on the average is Ravencoin. So before my electricity cost daily, I would make around $2.67. After my electricity cost, which is 10 cents per kilowatt hours, I'll make around 80 cents. So in a month, I'll make around $24. And it'll take approximately 6.25 years to break even. Now for a 1080 Ti rig, I did buy them around $550 on eBay. So buying six of them will cost around $3,300. And then of course, buying like the other mining hardware, it may cost around another $300. So you're looking around $3,600 to build a 6 1080 Ti mining rig. And of course, on what to mine Ravencoin, daily I would make around $4.55 before electricity costs. After electricity costs, I'll make around $1.82. Monthly, about $54.60. So it'll take around 5.49 years to break even. Now checking out the AMD GPUs. Six RX 580s, I did find them around $130 on eBay. So they did cost around $780. And buying all the other mining hardware, another $300. So a total of around $1,080. On what to mine, Ethash was pretty much the most profitable. So I was making around $2.02 .02 daily before electricity cost. After electricity cost, I was making around two cents. A month, I was making around 60 cents. It'll take around 5,400 days to break even, which is 450 years. Now for the Vega 64, buying six of them will cost around $2,100. So building the whole rig will cost around $2,400. Now daily without electricity costs, I'll make around $3.37. After electricity costs, I actually lose money. I lose around 23 cents a day. So for this rig, I'll never break even. Now switching up to ASICs, I did grab all these stats from the website asicminervalue.com, which is this website right here. And if I scrolled all the way down, I did change my electricity cost to 10 cents per kilowatt hours. So now for the ASICs, I did choose the most profitable and the most popular ones for each algorithm. And starting off with Equihash, the ASIC miner is on 180K. It does cost around $19,900, but you do get around 180K souls consuming around 2,200 watts. Now my daily net profit after electricity, I'll make around $16.22 and our ROI around 40.9 months. Now for the Inno Silicon A9 Plus Z Master, it costs around $5,600 at 120 K at 1,550 watts. My daily net income will be around $10.02 and our ROI may be around 18.6 months. Now for the most popular ASIC for Equihash, the Bitmain Ampminer Z9 Mini, you do get around 10k souls at 300 watts. It does cost around $695. So I'll make around 46 cents daily. Now ROI around 50.1 months. Now for Ethash Mining Ethereum, the InnoSilicon A10 Eth Master costs around $5,649. But you do get around 485 mega hashes at 850 watts. Now net daily income, I'll make around $3.89 and I'll ROI around 48.4 months. Now for the Bitmain Antminer E3, you do get around 190 mega hashes at 760 watts. It does cost around $750. You do make around 50 cents a day after electricity and I'll ROI around 50.1 months. 
Now for SHA-256 mining Bitcoin, the ASIC Miner 8 Nano Pro. It does cost around $11,600. You do get around 76 tera hashes at 4,000 watts. Now my net daily income after electricity, I'll make around $3.39. Now because this ASIC costs so much, I may never ROI. Now for the eBank eBit E11, it does cost around $2,482.64. You do get around 37 tera hashes at 2,035 watts. I'll make around $2.77 daily after electricity costs, and I'll ROI around 29.8 months. And then last but not least, the Bitmain Antminer S15. You do get around 28 tera hashes at 1,596 watts. It does cost around $1,695. I'll make a net profit of $1.25, and I'll ROI maybe around 45.2 months. Now for Blake 256 R14 Mining DCR, the Micro BT What's Miner D1 costs around $1,890 at 48 tera hashes, consuming 2,200 watts. I'll make a net daily profit of $5.03 and I'll ROI maybe around 12.5 months. Now for the Bitmain Amp Miner DR5, it does cost around $1,500. You do get around 34 tera hashes at 1,800 watts. I'll make around $2.99 daily net and I'll ROI around 16.7 months. Now for X11 Mining Dash, the Spondulis SPX36. It does cost around $5,000. You do get around 540 giga hashes, consuming around 4,400 watts. I'll make a net daily profit around $19.62, and I'll ROI maybe around 8.4 months. Now for the Bitmain 8 Manu D5, it does cost around $1,340. You do get around 119 giga hashes, consuming around 1,566 watts. You'll make a net profit around $3.27, and your ROI may be around 13.8 months. All right, now for Psycoin, they did fork. So the only way to mine Psycoin is with a Obelisk miner. So for the Obelisk SC1 immersion, now this is not available yet, but it is stated to be released in March of 2019. It will cost $6,500. You'll get around 2.2 tera hashes at 1,600 watts. Your net daily profit will be $62.95, and you will ROI around 4.7 months. Now, for the Obelisk SC1 Slim, it does cost $4,200 at 550 giga hashes, consuming 450 watts. You'll make a net daily profit of $15.62, and you will ROI around 8.9 months. Now, for Lyot Rod 2 Rev 2 Mining Verge or Mona Coin. The Dayon Zig Z1 Plus, you do get 6.8 giga hashes consuming 1,200 watts. It does cost $4,390. Your net daily profit will be around $1.77 and you will ROI around 82.7 months. Now for Script Mining LTC, the InnoSilicon A6 LTC Master costs around $3,000. You do get around 1.23 giga hashes consuming around 1,500 watts. Now after electricity costs, I'm actually going to be losing money, so I'm never going to ROI. And same thing for the Bitmain Amp Miner L3 Plus. Now it only costs $180 at 600 mega hashes at 850 watts. But of course after electricity costs, I'm still losing money, so I'll never ROI. Okay, now for the FPGAs, I do want to mention that I actually don't own any FPGAs, but I did get a lot of this information from another YouTuber, The Technicals, and he's actually like the FPGA guy. So if you want more information, and he makes really good content, so you should definitely check him out. All right, so the first sets of FPGAs, you can actually purchase them at squirrelsresearch.com. The BCU 1525 does cost $4,000. With all the other mining hardware, it will cost maybe around $500. For a total cost of $4,500. It does consume around 300 watts. And for the Bitstream, I did get them from Detheron.com. And for the calculations, I did use 0x Bitcoin. So for my net daily profit on my BCU 1525, I would make around $2.57 and our ROI may be around 4.86 years. Now for the CVP-13, it does cost $5,750. With all the other mining hardware, add another $500. So it'll be around $6,250, consuming around 400 watts. Your net daily profit is around $3.86 and our ROI may be around 4.5 years. All right, now for the other FPGAs. Now these look like ASICs and they actually run like one too. They're just plug and play. Now you can buy these at hashaltcoin.com. 
The original one was the Black Miner F1, but they did come out with a cheaper one, which is a single board, which costs $1,300. It does consume around 300 watts, and this is still mining 0x Bitcoin, and your ROI may be around 3.47 years. Now for the original Black Miner F1, and this is with two boards, it does cost $2,500, consuming around 600 watts, and you may ROI around 3.36 years. And then the Black Miner F1 Plus, now this is three FPGA boards, it costs around $3,750, consumes around 1,000 watts, and you may ROI around 3.2 years. And this is the hash rates for the different algorithms for each black miner. And you can grab this at hashalcoin.com. And for the black miner F1, I did grab these two figures from the technicals, which did come out higher when he tested it. All right, so thanks for checking out my comparison video. Now, of course, take the mining calculators and the ROI with a grain of salt, because all that could change down the road. And this is also before the Ethereum fork. So these figures will definitely change. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.